Okay, so this is the Mark-Exam question B1. Right now, dihedral angle. So the image on the right shows a modern building unit, uh, which forms part of the University of Bangkok. Okay, um, it comprises of a series of planar surfaces. Okay, figure B1 shows the plan and elevation of these planar surfaces. The, inc the incomplete horizontal and vertical coordinates for points A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, defining the four planes, are also given. Okay. Draw the given plan and elevations of the intersecting planes A, B, C, D, and A, B, E, F. So there's a missing coordinate in C, um, but G is, is not done here. So um, the X is, okay, how far across from the end vertical plane you're going to go to your Y, Y line there is an edge of your end vertical plane. Okay, so A is across 130A, B is across 150, C is across 80, D is across 90, E is across 130, F is across 150, and G is across 125. Okay, now. So vertical lines through these points here, so you can plot their coordinates. Okay, one stroke through the pencil only. I don't do that on one of them. If you're going twice through, through the point, you're, you're wasting too much time. Okay, the altitude of A, all right, zero. So A is on the ground. Okay, B, altitude is 50. And down from the XY line, out from the vertical plane in plan, it's 1110. So down 110 in plan, there we have B. Okay, and then A, uh, go back to A there, sorry, uh, is A 85 there. So it's 85 out from the vertical plane, so 85 down in, in plan view. There's A. Okay, C is up 30 from our XY line. Okay, in elevation, it's altitude from the horizontal plane, and it's unknown in plan. D is on the XY line in elevation, and it's down 75 millimeters from the XY line in plan. So there's a D. Okay, E is on the XY line as well as A, and it's down 55 millimeters from the XY line in plan. So that, down 55. Okay, F is down 30, and G 70. Okay, so the, I can join some of these in elevation. And I forgot to do F. F is up 50 from the XY line. Now, so I can join A to B in plan. And I can join B or A to D in plan. The problem is, is I don't have C. Now, there's two ways to do this. Horizontal or parallel lines are parallel in every orthographic field. So look, from C, if you draw a horizontal line here, this is this is parallel to the XY line, and it's parallel to line D A. Okay, where this point hits the line B F, drop this down to line. Or sorry, where the point hits line A to B, drop it down until it hits line A to B in plan, and then go. Parallel lines are parallel in every orthographic view, so we're going to go parallel to A to B in plan view from that point. So, and then straight down from C, and that's C there. Now, there are other ways to do that, that way. Uh, there are other ways to get the answer. I'm just going to stick with that one. Okay, so C to D. To F, F to B. Okay, determine the dihedral angle between uh, surfaces A, B, C, D. So the line of intersection LOI is A, B. Now you have to check to see, is it a true length already? It's not a true length already because it's not parallel to the XY line in planar elevation. So I have to look perpendicular to the line of intersection. Okay, most students just think you look along the line of intersection. You look along its true length, which we haven't got yet. So I've drawn my x1, y1 line parallel to line AB, and now I'm projecting at 90 degrees to line AB. Now, so we can take our heights from elevation. So A is on the XY line in elevation, so it'll be on the X1, Y1 line in our auxiliary elevation. So there's A, 1, B, uh, F is the same altitude there. So there's there's B1, there's F1, okay, E is on the XY line, so there's E1. Now, here's D, there's B1, and then the altitude is C. there's C1. Now C1 joins to B1, B1 joins to A1, A1 joins to D1, D1 joins to C1, F1 joins to B1, and E1 joins to F1. Now you have to look along that line of intersection, so you do, and I'm going to project up uh, 
two. So here's uh, here's line A1B1. I'll look along here. So you have to look along the true length of the line of intersection. So this is a true length, and the line will appear as a point. So I'm going to project all these points on this way. Now you only need to do three points. Okay. So you need to do the line of intersection, one point on one of the surfaces, and take another point from the other surface. So because they're going to appear as two lines, so you only need the line of intersection, a point on one surface, and a point on the second surface. Okay. X to Y two line at 90 degrees to that. Now I'll move the visualizer over. Take, draw a datum line here, it's parallel to the X1, Y1 line. The purpose of the datum line is just to reduce the distance you need. So put your compass on your datum line, bring it back to point A, lift your compass, find your projection line here for A. So there's A1 or A2 slash B2, B will be the exact same. For F, so compass on the datum line, bring it into F, lift, find F here, mark it in. There's F2, and then what's the other point we're doing? We're doing D. So it comes on the datum line, bring the nib to D here, lift, find D over there, and mark it in. So here we have it here. There's a D2. Now, join the points together. Here's the dihedral angle. Measure it. Okay, and write in the value, so 85 degrees. Now, Okay, right, part C. The triangle BFG is an isosceles triangle with a perimeter of 180 degrees. Complete the elevation and plan. All right, so if you want to do, do this, all right, it's, you've got to see a view with this, with the true, true shape, this perimeter of 180. So here's, here's line BF, and BF is here. So this is a point view, so this is a true length. Now, to set this up, okay, I'm going to draw a line, uh, you can see this here, that's 180, so I'm going to mark 180 there. Now, so that's the perimeter of the whole triangle there. Take your compass, put the distance between B, take the distance of B and F away from it. And that's it. There. Okay, so this is the remaining two sides. So you can bisect this distance here. Oh sorry, I need to, so I need to bisect that line. So this is the remaining uh, sides, all right? So if you take half of them, this is, and put it from here. Now swing your arc here, and swing your arc here from B. And this is G when you look at its true shape. Okay, so I'll just do this in color. So there's the triangle when it's done in color. Now, if I bring this up here now, that's the triangle when it's like that in green. Okay, it's, it's parallel to the XY line in elevation, so it's, it's a true shape in plan. So that's a true shape. Now, to get your G in elevation, you put your compass here, and you rotate it up to there, and that gets you your position of G in elevation. So you can join uh, B to G, it says what's BFG. So there's G, and G to F. Okay, what's it? B, B, F, G. So this is, this is B, there it is there. It just appears as one line, all right, one line. And then this is the actual plan view of it here. Now, uh, I was napping there at the start of the question, that should be in hidden detail. So that, that's hidden detail. Now, the next part of the question, determine the projections of the line of intersection between A, B, C, D, so A, B, C, D, and triangle B, F, G. So we have to determine the intersection between this surface here and A, B, C, D. Okay, and uh, an immediate problem is, is what you call it, you, uh, at the moment, they don't touch each other, so they need to be extended on. Now, our solution is we're going to get one of these surfaces as an edge. So we're going to look along line AD, okay, the true length of any line on that surface, because AD is parallel to the XY line elevation, so it's a true length in plan. So we're going to project along line AD, and we're going to project our points B, F, and G. At that same angle. Oh, shucks. So there's our X1, Y1 line. Now, we're going to take our heights from elevation. Okay, so A, one is there. B, and I'm going to pick up the pace here, B. And just notice the way here, guys, this is also a solution for the first part of the question. When you couldn't find, when you couldn't find point C in elevation, look, if you look along line AD, because it's a true length, the whole surface A, B, C, D will appear as an edge. Now, if you mark them in together, and you hadn't find C, you hadn't point C in plan, so if you took the height of C from elevation, okay, Marked it on one of the lines here, drew a line parallel to X1, Y1 line, okay, and drew it over. Where it hit the edge of the surface, you could bring it back down and get point C. It's just a useful point to note. So that's A, B, C, D, A1, D1. That's an edge of the surface. Now, the triangle. 
So there's G. There's G here. There's G. And here's F1. Oh, sorry, that's not F1. My bad, my bad. Here's a. Uh, so I've done G there. So F1 is over the opposite side. There's F1. Now, it doesn't look like this method is going to work here, what I was doing. I was going to do an edge of one of the surfaces here, but it's, you can see um, this this isn't going to work. Yeah, well, that, that's going to be one point there. I think what I, uh, we're going to have to do is determine the projections of a line of intersection between planes A, B, C, D. And um, so I have a fair idea what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get probably the traces of each plane. So just let me pause this and I'll, I'll research it and finish it off. Okay, now this this method I'm doing is different to what's in the market American scheme. So if the, this surface, if this was bigger, I'll write a cut there. So I drew a line parallel to BF from G because B, line BF is a point in elevation, so that means it's horizontal in in real life. It's it's horizontal. It's parallel to X Y line. So that's why I drew a line parallel to X one Y one line. So this would be making the plane bigger. And where it pierces there, that's a point in the line of intersection. And B has to be one because point B is common between the two planes. So B has to be a point in the line of intersection. So I project it down uh, back to my plan. Now parallel lines are parallel in every orthographic view. So if I drew a line from G one parallel to B one F one aka the X one Y one line, I got to draw a line parallel to BF in plan from G. Okay, the correct G, not the fake one. And where it hits the projection line, that's a point in the line of intersection. So this is a point here. So now, that's it there. there. Now, this line, okay, in elevation, is, is on surface G, G1, B1, F1. It goes on bigger. All right, so it has to be, look, if you just extend G to B1 right down to there, that's the line of intersection, LOI. Okay, and then the plan view, okay, of that is going to, it's going to stop now out here. The line of intersection stops out there. That's... That's where it hits the horizontal plane, that's where it hits the horizontal plane in plan. Now, and this is where, it, what to call it, this is where it pierces surface A, B, C, D. Even though you're like, well, it's not inside A, B, C, D, but a surface is only a portion of a plane that goes on forever. And you can take, uh, you can take that point up there, and that's it. All right, so that is the line of intersection. All right, and that's the question done. Cheers, thank you, bye-bye.